As troops prepare to go down range to continue on with a world-class training for a world-class army here at the National Training Center, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is building a world-class hospital for the soldiers. We're constructing the Weed Army Community Hospital. This hospital will serve the Army soldiers here that are training from all over the country. This hospital is roughly 217,000 square feet. The dollar value is approximately $162 million. We'll have 55 exam rooms and 15 hospital beds. LRB Beckett and RLF Joint Venture designed the new hospital and the construction contract was awarded to Turner Construction. Prior to moving the first mound of dirt, these companies incorporated new technology which allowed engineers to virtually construct the hospital from the ground to completion. The, the old days of architecture, were, everything was drawn by pen and pencil on paper. Then in the 80s we moved to computers and everything was drawn with lines. So the next phase is drawing everything in three dimensions, and instead of drawing lines, you draw the objects. You don't just draw a line, you draw a wall, or you drop in a whole couch. So that's where this project started in the 3D world. Again, the benefit is see what's going on, see if things need to change, uh, eliminate a lot of the conflicts that typically occurred in construction and you don't really see them until later on until the building's actually getting put together and the pieces are there and then you realize, oh no, something's wrong. So the benefit is to find out all that early. Once the structure is completed, the U.S. Army Health Facility Planning Agency steps in to transform the structure into a state-of-the-art hospital. Well, as the project manager, I am responsible for the transition activities. Transition activities includes equipment procurement, new equipment procurement, as well as placement of the equipment. But what's unique about our activities is it's not just equipment purchasing, not just equipment placement, but it's about teaching the staff how to use the new facility. In this case, this new hospital will have something as standard as elevators. The old hospital didn't. So how do you move patients? The new hospital will have a, a pneumatic tube system for distribution of medicine. The old hospital didn't. So you'll have to train your staff on how to use these new technologies, or not just different technologies, so that we can effectively take care of our new of our patient population for this post. Right now, the plan is to have seamless health care coverage. That means you will always get your on-post uh, outpatient care here on Fort Irwin, either at the Mary Walker Clinic as it is now, or when the doors open of the new hospital. So you'll have seamless care. It's just that from one day to the next, you may go from Mary Walker to the new hospital. Reporting from the National Training Center, I'm Public Affairs Specialist Brooks Hubbard.